Hey YouTube, this is Brawler 2095 and today I have the review of the Prime T Pack 15. I got the Pack 15 from eHobby Asia and the rechargeable um, Ultra Fire batteries from Airsoft Club. The first thing you want to do is unscrew your cap first of all, and then look at the the little picture. It shows you which way the battery goes on, as you guys can see right there. So it's positive side out like this, and then simply screw your cap back on. Okay, second thing you want to do is take off your lens caps. One and two. Okay, it starts off on zero or O, and that is for off. As you click the button, you see nothing happens. When you switch it down to AL, the laser comes on. This is the green laser mode um, model. I actually wanted the red laser model, but I thought this was it, but I guess I was wrong. So here's the green laser, it's really really bright, you can actually see the laser beam, not right here but I can see it and you guys can see it on camera. Okay, switch it back to L and it turns off. AL, I mean P is the next one after AL or O. And the light is about 90 lumens, it's pretty bright, it's not bright enough to blind somebody from a pretty far away but it's bright enough to do the job of seeing in the darkness. Okay. The next option is AL, so that's back to the laser, right there, and the next option is DL, which is for laser and flashlight. You guys can't really see the laser, oh there you go, right, right there. because the flashlight is so bright, let me put it on the black thing, yeah, you can see right there, yeah so it's laser and flashlight mode right here. Um, I'll show you guys how this looks on my my GNG M4 or my SF GIG G4A3, and I'll be right back. See you guys later. Brawl over 2895, and you guys can see the green dot is right on my red dot. The right, the green thing is the laser. You guys can see it on that wall, the brick wall over there. And this is through my holographic. It's right on, dead on center. The only time it's not down the center is obviously if you get close, as you guys can see right here on the wooden wall. But from I'd say about 20 feet to infinite, it just stays on target. Actually, when you get a little bit further, it falls down a little bit, obviously. But for the most part, you can just use your laser. You don't even need your red dot. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is Brawl2895. Have a good day.